the story of TikTok's dirtiest predators. I mean, TikTok is a platform for pedophiles anyway, so... Bone yeah, chilling kind of Snapchats, expected. horrible videos, and a real life sting operation where he'd try to okay. meet a minor. This is the incredibly creepy story of Buddy Haynes, aka TikTok's dirtiest predator. His account, going by the name of the Buddy, was first registered back in 2018, okay. on which Buddy would describe himself as a 26 year old jiu jitsu athlete and gamer. His early videos were a laughable display of what you might call his dancing skills, and while this mm -hmm. kind of content was fairly innocent at the start, he then began to post these bizarre provocative videos in which you try to come off as a sexy TikTok bad boy. What? what are we look for in a guy? You don't have to be funny. Hell, you don't even have to be really that good looking. What they, what they really want is- Oh my god, so cringe. And a joker in the sheets. The videos were unbelievably stupid, yet in a bizarre turn of events, they were judged as being so terrible that they gained the attention of a few notable YouTubers. He's got a Zelda handbook. He's a little good boy, but then he does that 360, pulls out some handcuffs, Leather coat, boy, you best watch out for him. He gonna be snatching up your girl all day. This helped the buddy to receive an influx of over 25,000 followers, during which the YouTuber Slazo would also give his opinion. Do not let this man meet you with handcuffs. Never do that, that's not a good idea. And while nobody knew it mm -hmm. at the time, Slazo was wise in suggesting to avoid this man with handcuffs, as the buddy's content only became weirder and weirder from here on out. Instead of posting innocent dancing videos or even cringy bad boy videos, he rather began to post various creepy tips TikTok duets. I mean, like, let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. If you're a grown ass man and, and you're in TikTok, something's fucking wrong with you. If you're literally a grown ass man and you're in, in, and you're in TikTok, you know, for yourself, that's kind of, you're probably a pedophile. Let's be real here. You're probably a pedophile. The people who use TikTok are mainly young girls, young people, and the Chinese government trying to spy on you. That's usually what TikTok is, right? So the thing is, like, if you're a grown-ass man and you're using TikTok to promote, let's say, your, your products or your services, or let's say you're trying to um, do some marketing stuff, then I get you. That's fine. Or you yourself are a content creator, like, you know, publishing the videos, I guess. That's fine. Enter like v like maybe cutting your your YouTube videos and turning them into shorts and then uploading TikTok fine. But if you're like a regular dude, like a regular old a regular guy who isn't even a content creator, and then you 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 go to TikTok just to you know and you hang out on TikTok like you're probably a pedophile. Let's be real here, because let's say ninety percent of the content in TikTok is basically young girls dancing to very provocative songs. Let's just, let's, let's be honest here, okay? Then the thing is, like, oh, if you're going to be saying like, oh, because I want to make content myself, I want to dance to TikTok stuff. Like, not really, not really. You're just doing it because you have an ulterior motive. Like this asshole here. Like, this is why I always tell that TikTok is a bad platform and I've been staying away from TikTok um, and just promoting like what? YouTube shorts instead, you know? Or maybe Facebook reels if you want to more, be more on the edge of stuff. But yes, if you're, if you're a grown ass man, just avoid TikTok. Just, just, just avoid it, man. Involving girls who looked underage. There were multiple videos that followed this same kind of premise. Some were innocent, while others were a little more dicey, leading the buddy to receive his first bit of hate, which he'd address in a dedicated okay. upload. To my haters, all you're doing is fueling the fire. When you comment, like my stuff, follow okay. me, and react to my videos, trying to, I mean, like, me, you're just making it worse for you. So. Do yourself a favor. I mean, unless you're making actual content that's like roasting other TikTokers or like, you know, actually making like good content that's funny, then that's fine. But like, uh, I don't know, still, Fuck man. Fuck me, because I will continue to do duets with my fans that love me. And I will continue to do okay. videos from my house where I live with my parents who love and support me and I support them because they- Is it just me on his, or his nose is not symmetrical? His nose is not symmetrical, what the hell? Oh my god, he has a crooked nose! Is that normal? However, this did nothing to stop those who disliked him, as he then posted another video explaining that people- He has a crooked nose, is that normal? Information. So as you can tell, I'm still here, but I now have another issue. I have not people that found me on Facebook. You harass me on Facebook, and I will take you to the police. Because this is getting way too far, people. This is too far. His nose really is no so crooked that even his, even his glasses him, are not straight. The only thing saving him from what was about to happen. On the 2nd okay. of October 2018, a TikTok Talker by the name of Bit Hoji would upload Bit Hoji. a video explaining that the buddy had been acting a little unethical behind the scenes. Buddy Boudet talks to girls 
from the ages of like 12 to 15. He messages them on Instagram with okay. very lewd videos and lewd messages and pictures, etc. A okay. group of people, including myself, called him out on it, and now law enforcement is taking over. As mentioned, the buddy had been messaging various underage girls via Instagram, and there was a bunch of evidence to go with it. Oh, how old are you? 14. I mean, may I be honest? Yeah, of course. If it was me, I'd try to make the relationship with you last for years. Hello, Damn, I what feel the fucking like battlefield dude. You're okay. Don't worry about it. I kind of sort of have a crush on you and shouldn't. And that's basically where he just dug his grave 100%. Damn. In a different chat, the buddy sent an inappropriate photo to a girl who he knew was underage, while in another he threw himself a pity party stating, just feel ugly and unwanted. No girl finds me cute or anything. Am I that ugly? I feel like it. However, the best chat logs were gathered by Jay Aubrey. This is the reason why as a content creator, it's better not to just engage with minors at all. Like, it's, it's for example, like for my case, this is why like, if I find out that you're a minor in, in my community, the first thing I do is either I treat you like a baby or I troll the fuck out of you. But I don't do anything more than that because for legal reasons, I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to be like 10 years in the future. Like, oh, no, reels and read pedophile question mark. Like, you know, that, that shit like that. So that's one of the reasons why. As he and it basically goes for everyone, should be. 2018, when all of this first went down. Well, why don't you just send me something? Well, it's like blowing a kiss or something. If you don't want to, that's fine. Mm. And of course, it doesn't change once he got her phone number. You're a hottie and I'm an ugly. Oh, so I see some sugar daddy action at play here. Huh? Don't do something on Snap. Oops, may I be honest? Yeah, sure, haha. <laughs> I sent those videos because I'm sort of turned on and wanted to tease you. The videos Jesus. in question were abundant and took the story to a whole new level of creepy. You're the cute one here, not me, so. Not fair. Like, I can't even make you blush, so it seems like. <laughs> Make me crush on you even more. However, apparently this whole thing was nothing more than a big misunderstanding. Damn. As the buddy would take to his TikTok to state that he'd been hacked, and it was rather bit hoji the girl who originally. How do you get hacked with your own information coming out? And not only that, they have video proof of your own like what selfie cam. That is okay. Sure. Exposed him. Who'd been Why are you to watching this? By sending these because messages. fuck TikTokers Students essentially. Respond to these claims in the days that followed. I'm flattered that he thinks I'm smart mm -hmm. enough to hack into someone's iCloud, and I'm honored that he thinks I'm smart enough to know how to hack into someone's Instagram and send fake DMs. I would not make something up okay. to this extent just to make someone look bad. And it's safe to say that nobody else was buying the buddy's excuses okay. as he'd go ahead and turn off his TikTok comments before vacating the account altogether. The account TikTokers okay. such as Bit Hoji began to celebrate, stating that the oh, buddy case has come to a beautiful close, with a common sentiment being that he'd been arrested. From everything I've seen, it's most likely that he's been arrested and thank God. Yet unbeknownst to everybody at the time, this was only the tip of the iceberg, oh, as oh. Bade would return shortly thereafter by posting the following video. Yeah, look who's back. As well, ladies and gentlemen, the day is back. I just decided to take a little mini vacation from TikTok, just to okay. kind of cool myself. The Bade was back and creepier than ever. Mm. Although it's not like people had forgotten about his past, as Jay okay. Aubrey's original expose had gone viral amassing over 2.7 million views, with this newly found infamy leading the Bade to defend himself further in a leaked Snapchat message. Those girls that I did duets with, yes, I did duets. They asked for those duets, first off. It was not to meant to be sexual or anything. They That's true, come yeah. Off that way. The FBI has already investigated me. They've came to my house. Back in 2018, then, when all this, when all that happened. They were just asking me what, like, stuff about TikTok and what it was, and that's it. As mentioned, law enforcement okay. had zero interest in what Buddy had done, possibly giving him the confidence to continue, as only four months later, a new video was uploaded by Inform Overload, confirming that the Buddy was back to his old ways Jesus in a brand new series Christ. of Snapchats. Cute. I was gonna say, you don't have to cover up for me, haha. -ha. You're cute. I'd love to get to know you more. Wish I was there. I'd want you. You're beautiful. I don't understand, man. Is he trying so hard? Is he is he really trying to riz? Come on, man. Just look at yourself, man. You're, you're. I, I don't want. I don't want to be rude, but you're a fat, balding fuck that looks probably like in his forty years old that lives with your, and your parents. Come on, man. You ain't gonna riz no girls with that shit. Like, bro. Come on. 
Come on, bro, man. Jesus Christ, man. Beautiful. I kind of like you. You'd be a good girl. 16, right? And this and, and you're you're playing as a dominant daddy vibe. Fucking hell, dude. But he had stated in an Fucking hell, dude. Q&A that he typically went for girls between the ages of 18 and 36. So to be caught Snapchatting a girl he knew was 16 wasn't the best look. After being asked were okay. the allegations true, he'd simply state nope. And after a follow-up question of how do you feel about all the allegations toward you, he'd simply write it's all bull, which didn't exactly disprove anything especially since there was more evidence I can be court. naughty <laughs> fucking less than two weeks after stating that the funny thing is they report him and they gave him account like, the funny thing is that they report him and gave him hate because he isn't attractive but if he was hot definitely there would be a difference and they would praise him too I agree with that yeah it's always appearance but come on man come on man by the name of Jadica uploaded a video talking about a new experience if you're gonna raise someone at least make it the point that you got raised her own words I found his snapchat and I started posing as a 16 year old okay. to try and catch him in the act and here is where I was like well you know I'm not really all that experienced in flirting and he said that I can practice on him that's when he said really about me saying oh I'm not that experienced in flirting oh. you know and then here I told him that I was bored and he said he could make it better and and then I asked him what he meant by that, and he said, "Oh well, I'd probably make out with you, haha." -ha. And I don't remember why, but at some point he said, "I can this, be naughty." And I was like, um, "Okay, well, <laughs> what do you mean man. by that?" And he said don't need you falling for me. Only three months after this exchange, the buddy was catfished once again, this time by a YouTuber named Activist Plug, who had spent three months convincing the buddy that he was a 17-year-old girl. Okay. However, Buddy had apparently learned somewhat of a lesson from his past experiences, as he kept the conversation platonic the whole time, yet he'd still agree to meet up with the non-existent 17-year-old, where Activist Plug was there to confront him. Oh. How are you? Doing good. Yeah. What you up to? I'm just hanging out. You're hanging out? Yep. Not meeting a friend? No. So you don't know anyone by the name of Cat? No. I don't know anybody named Cat. Damn, what, what, imagine getting catfished hard, no. dude. You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Buddy had been busted once again, this time in the most embarrassing setting to date, after which it seemed as though the Buddy shenanigans might have finally been coming to an end. He'd retire his presence on TikTok and instead become a streamer on Twitch. However, oh, damn, his he's most here. impressive Twitch clip being him getting five kills on Fortnite, it's not difficult to see how his account, going by the name of Papa Freak, was unable to gain more than 300 followers. Buddy would also try to launch a SoundCloud music career under the name Freak Alpha. However, to put it lightly, the music wasn't very good. Who would have thought that falling in reverse would be the claim to fame and after all these months still king of the game everyone knows my name. It seemed as though the buddy Jesus had run out Christ. of ways to progress on the internet so he'd delete his Instagram, Twitter and Facebook before okay. going silent. Rumors began to circulate that he'd been arrested for driving slowly in a school zone although he wasn't even on the internet to give his side of the story. That would be until January okay. 2021 approximately 18 months after anybody had heard heard from him when the buddy would create a new YouTube channel called Papa Freak before uploading a video titled Campfire Chat Clearing the Air oh my in which God. buddy would finally give his full side of the story. He began by talking about why he joined TikTok in the first place. Back in uh, 2018, I started TikTok and started enjoying it. I wanted to find an outlet to mm -hmm. entertain people. You know, me being the butt of the joke, you know, making cringy videos and mm -hmm. me just not really caring what people think. Before giving okay. a possible motive for his own poor decisions. I dealt with a lot of depression, anxiety. Oh, dude, he's gonna pull the depression card, okay. So, so, so basically like, okay, okay, okay. So basically I have depression, anxiety, ADHD and whatever bullshit, please take pity on me. Jesus Christ, why why do you why do these people keep pulling that stuff? Nobody gives a shit, man. A crime is still a crime by the end of it. And besides what what does he want to do? He wanted an outlet for his creativity. He he wanted an he wanted a way to make cringy videos and make people laugh. But the thing is is DMing is DMing minors a a, a creative way is, is it a creative outlet? Like trying to meet minors in real life is a creative outlet? I, I don't know, man. Saying things like, I can be naughty too, ha ha. Is that a creative way? Uh, Jesus Christ, what is wrong with these people? Schizophrenia, alcohol abuse. There's a lot of those 
videos that and I now he's getting trying to get sympathy points in my correct state of mind but he would then explain that he was making an effort to fix his life i'm staying away from tiktok as much as you people ask me to go back i have stopped drinking completely I'm nobody gives a shit medicine. man i'm in therapy the buddy's last real offense seemed to have been his park meetup okay. in 2019 so perhaps after everything the buddy has finally learned his lesson no most likely no most likely no if he, 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 he's, he's the thing okay like most likely no what's gonna be happening is like um if he ever got famous uh if he ever got famous in in probably this video or 14 hours ago already had 1 million views okay this will definitely blow him up okay this will definitely blow him up so at some level i feel like the more he does this the more he the more the more popular he gets the more chances you know, he could get into minor's pants you know what I mean? So like TLDR, if you're any a content creator streamer, just just don't entertain minors in any way, shape, or form. I mean, if you're gonna entertain them, make it a point that there is a certain line that they cannot cross, essentially. Like, for example, if let's say if a minor, you know, if a girl, for example, starts simping on you, you at least make it a point that if that make it the point that that girl's at least 21, minimum legally speaking, 21. But if you cannot confirm that she's 21, then just have fun by trolling her and maybe memeing her, but that's about it. Or just basically just cut off the connection just to be safe, you know what I mean? It's not worth the risk, okay? Because here's the internet. Anything you post on the internet stays in the internet forever. Like every VOD, every clip, every message that you send will get immortalized in the internet because nothing gets deleted in the internet. But anyway, good video. Let's move on to the next one.